Our first guest was the captain of his football team in high school, and during a school assembly, he surprised some of his classmates when he publicly came out as gay. Take a look. Hiding from who I was put a tremendous amount of stress on me at such a young age, and only got worse as the years went by. I wanted so badly to be straight. There were countless nights where I would cry myself to sleep, begging to wake up straight, asking why it had to be me. Why can't I just be normal, I would say. It had been tearing me up inside for too long. So one day at a friend's house, towards the end of the summer, I came, out to the, I came to the decision that I would come out. I told a few of my closest friends. I can't even explain the weight that has been lifted off my shoulders after that. For the first time in my life, I could finally be true to myself. I came to the conclusion that I really didn't care what people thought anymore. I owed it to myself to be me. So great. So now, a year later, Jake is playing Division I football at Indiana State University. From St. Louis, Missouri, please welcome Jake Bain. Can I first just say, I, before I came out, I used to watch your show the, like, all the time, and it just means so much to me to actually be here now and be on your show, and you've done so much for, every, for the entire LGBT community and just humanity as a whole, so it means so much for me to be on the show for these. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, well, First of all, let me say I admire you. I'm proud of you. I know how hard it is for anyone to come out, especially a football player right. in a small town. Um, so, and you looked very, very nervous doing that speech. Yeah. How long had you been thinking about it? Uh, honestly, I can't. I could probably have three or four years. Um, I say it was. I was really nervous at first. Um, it was right before uh, we had just we had just won the state championship my sophomore year of football. Um, and right after that, um, everything, I was just like at an all time high at that point and I was getting so much attention um, for athletics. And, but at the same time, in the back of my head, I, I had started to um, start questioning my sexuality and what, I, what it was that I truly wanted. So um, I was really nervous at first. And then, I mean, I, my, my school was super supportive and everything. That's great. Um, but I knew that, I mean, it could be different once I came out and I was actually out there in the public. So it was nervous at first, but I was definitely embraced and loved by everybody. Right, that's great. Because it's a really conflicting thing to right. feel really proud of yourself and good at something, and then in the back of your mind have shame and, and carry shame around. Right. So you're, you're living this kind of private, secret, conflicting life, and it's, it's really, it's, it's not healthy. You know, right. so that's so great you did that. All right, so the school was supportive. Yes, yes, my school, I went to a pretty small high school in St. Louis, Missouri, um, but it was a very um, accepting uh, community. Everybody from the students to the faculty to even the staff and the custodial workers were all just embraced me with so much love and support, and I, I never found anybody there who disliked me because of the house gay. So now you're uh, playing for Indiana State, yeah. and how's that going? Well, you, I mean, you must have been worried about your, your career in football. Right. Yeah, it was definitely, I had a lot of nerve, uh, nerves coming out um, because at that time I was, uh, there weren't very, there aren't very many out openly gay football players, so. Or any. Or any. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. so I couldn't count on them on, on one hand, so. Um, once I got to Indiana State, it was like all of those nerves were set aside really fast because even before I committed there, I talked to the coach about my sexuality and that I wanted to be openly gay in this, uh, at Indiana State. And he assured me from the very beginning um, that I was going to be accepted by, my commu by the community at Indiana State and that my teammates were going to treat me just mm -hmm. like anybody else on the team. So that just meant so much to me to yeah. hear that from the older guys right away. Well, and that means that what other people hearing that now, and they're, if, if everybody would have the courage to do what you did, then we wouldn't have that homophobia. We wouldn't have that fear. Exactly. And so you're going to inspire other people just like, you know, I inspired you and, and it gave you you know, the hopes and dreams, because life can be beautiful. Like, right. life doesn't have to be hard. It right. can be everything you want it to be. Absolutely. And you have a boyfriend. Hunter is in the audience. You've yes. been with him. Hi, Hunter. <laughs> oh. um, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> so, and Hunter is with his mom there. Hi. Um, so that's fantastic. And to have the support of your, your parents, that's everything. It really is. Um, so you've been with Hunter for two years? Yes. I met him at a party, and we kind of connected pretty, pretty fast. Um, I kind of always had like a sneaky feeling that he may be gay. So um, <laughs> we, we weren't both out at the time, but um, we just 
kind of connected and we talk all the time now. I mean, even when we're not um, with each other um, when he's at, because he, he goes to UNC, so it's about a, it's about a 10 hour drive or like a two hour flight. So oh, wow. it, it gets hard, but um, he got to come to Indiana State a few times over the football season, so it's been great. Oh, that's so great. You've got to be so proud of him too. Oh, I'm so proud. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> all right, well, so the NCAA uh, regulations say you can't accept gifts because you're an athlete or some stupid thing like that. <laughs> so. Hunter is going to get a six-night stay at the Jean-Michel um, Cousteau <laughs> Resort in Fiji, and what? so maybe he'll bring you. I don't know. <laughs> There's guided snorkeling, rainforest, round-trip airfare from Fiji Airways. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah! Oh,